Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Got a phone call here sponsored by go.tagjag.com slash petco. You can save 10% on your next petco order by heading over to that link. This is Chris. Hey, Chris. Hey. Um, I was wondering, like, whenever you get done using your laptop, whether you should, like, turn it off or you should, like, put it on a screensaver. Ah, it's a good question. Uh, you know, I, I usually, with my notebook computer or laptop, uh, will power it off if I know I'm not going to be using it uh, within a day. Now, if I, if I do right. happen to use it on a regular basis, then I'll keep it uh, up and running. By and large, yeah. despite the advances in power-saving technologies, uh, it's usually better that you turn off a device and unplug it to make sure you're not uh, pulling any excess power cycles. You know, for a, a device like a notebook computer, it's not going to draw tons of power, but still, sometimes it all adds up. As a matter of fact, I'm glad you called. And I'm sorry, who am I speaking with again right now? Uh, Ryan Smith. Ron Smith. All right. So I learned about a site the other day uh, because they followed me on Twitter, believe it or not, uh, a site that is uh, operated by Microsoft. Microsoft Home. Microsoft Home. Now, it's not H-O-M-E. It's H-O-H-M. And right now, it's a, a beta. H-O-H-M. Uh, so you could uh, search the web for H-O-H-M and it would likely pull up or Microsoft-H-O-H-M.com. Uh, you can sign up, sign in, uh, and you're going to be taken to uh, basically a wizard that asks you all sorts of questions related to your home. I mean, things that I would never even think of looking for, you know, all the way down to the type of light bulb. Uh, you know, what year your windows were installed, uh, how much insulation you have down to the inch. Uh, you can look into just about every aspect of your home. And after going through this process, they're going to give you suggestions for how you can save money on your energy bills. So they make recommendations based on the information you give them, and they just announced something today that will let you look up just about any home in the galaxy, including mine, and you don't want to know how much energy I have going on here in my house. I'm like the Griswolds on my block. Everything's lit up. So, you know, it's a good question to ask, you know, what you should do when you're not using a computer. Uh, generally speaking, though, if you're going to use it within a day, I'd say just you know put it into the uh, power-saving state, and, and I think you're going to be okay. If you're not going to use it for longer than a day, go ahead and shut her down. You know, there's no reason to keep it up. Uh, in, in many cases, if uh, you know the, the operating system can handle it and the hardware can handle it, you know, shutting the lid uh, to letting it uh, you know be suspended, uh, it's not going to take that much uh, energy at all. As a matter of fact. When my monitors kick into energy saving mode, uh, they only take up uh, up to one watt uh, or, uh, uh, of power per hour. So they don't take up a lot of energy. They're, they're not really drawing that much. Uh, every device, of course, is different. And I have reviewed a, a couple of products that allow you to, to plug in devices uh, to them and they'll give you a readout about how much energy is being used. But uh, yeah, you know, it just depends on your usage model, the type of uh, computer that you're using. And, uh, you know, more than anything, I, I think I'd be looking a bit bigger than just your notebook computer. The, the best, seriously, the best site or service that I've found to date is literally one that I found the other day. It's free, uh, nothing to buy, uh, sign up for it, uh, complete a, a home profile, and get recommendations uh, for every aspect of your home. I mean, just right off the top, uh, they tell you the uh, do-it-yourself cost, the annual savings, the annual benefit, uh, everything that you might need to arm yourself with information. Uh, yes, Looney Tunes got the URL correct. Thank you. Microsoft-hohm.com. Different ways of saving energy. Uh, they've got different recommendations, looks like, for your home. Uh, it's almost like a task list. You can just mark off what you completed on your plan, what you've removed. Uh, and they've also got energy saving habits. Really, it's just going to give you more information uh, and, and let you know what you're doing and what kind of impact you're having, at least on your bills. And it, to me, and I, I'm just guessing here, you sound a little young. I don't know if you've got your own place where you live, but getting these habits early on are only going to help you when you become a homeowner, 
or you have to deal with energy bills. This all absolutely yeah. uh, will translate. Uh, it's something to to really uh, make yourself uh, aware of, and then of course make other people aware of as well. Which is why I really am glad that you called. It gave me a chance to talk about the this particular service. Yeah, 